question then. What exactly is pain? Because pain is not something that's objective. It's very subjective, yes. right? And it's the hardest thing to nail down. Well, and people have written books on this, so... I'm sure they have. I'm sure you... Don't rely just on I'm me. I'm sure you have interviewed some of these people <laughs> too, right? I have, yes. So the best working definition that we have about pain is... I'm going to butcher this. All you pain science folks, please forgive me already. But it's... I'm going to paraphrase. It's something along the lines of pain is an unpleasant sensory and emotional experience that's based off of either real or perceived tissue threat. So to distill it down, pain is entirely in your brain. Um, not that pain is in your head, but it's, it's a creation of your brain and it's a protective mechanism. If something hurts, we don't want to keep doing it because we want to eventually, you know, survive in the gene pool. So pain, if you think about it that way, is really a protective mechanism all of these nerves in your body are always send, sending signals to your brain, right? There's, you know, you're sitting on your chair, your, your, your fanny right now is getting input up to your brain and your brain saying, I'm sitting on a cushy chair right now. It's not, you know, not a, not a threat. It's pleasant. Yeah. Exactly. It's pleasant. It's not a threat. So I'm not going to create pain. Um, but depending on your history as an individual, um, you might have had an injury on maybe you have sciatica, maybe you have something else like that, and your brain knows that if you sit long enough, that you know big nerve running down out of your glutes and down your leg is going to be aggravated. So it will make a sensation of discomfort or pain because of your own previous history. So pain is very unique, and it is very dependent on your own past experiences. So you touch an iron when you're hot, when you're young, when it's hot, and you know that it gets burned. If you bump in, and I don't know if you've ever had this experience, but you put your hand on a burner again, even if it's not on, and you first look down at it and you jerk your hand away, right? Yeah, real fast, like, yeah. Part of that is that protective mechanisms, and pain works very much the same way. So it is very context-specific. It's very individualistic insofar as what might cause pain for you might not cause pain for me. And then the intensity, again, varies on depending on our past experiences, right? Right. 